So once again, Joe Biden has said some very disturbing things, this time around his being able to work with segregationists and talking about civility with these people that he worked with in the Senate. Um, one of them was a Senator James Eastland from the South, I forget what state, but I was just watching a video that highlighted some of the things that Senator Eastland had said. Um, I won't repeat them, but they are just horribly racist and dehumanizing towards um, people of color, towards melanated people. Um, yeah, just another really troubling example of just... <laughs> Joe Biden's just so like out of touch and just like how I just how can he think it's like you know it's the year 2019 and he is talking about being able to work with segregationists like why 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 do you think that's a good idea why like it's a, like they the segregationists they think there should be separate you know, everything should be separated along racial lines because they believe that um, melanated people are inferior to white European ancestry um, people. Why would you highlight thinking, why would you highlight your ability to be able to work with them? Like, what are you thinking? You're, you're, you're so stupid. <laughs> no wonder why your prior presidential campaigns always ended up um, getting torpedoed because you end up putting your foot in the mouth and you your policy and record wise you've supported you know lots of other kind of horrible policy decisions um, in the past as well so not really um, a big surprise but definitely something I hope gets highlighted during the de democratic debates um, that are happening I think next next Wednesday and Thursday, um, something like that. And then Cory Booker, um, the senator from New Jersey, who's also running for president, he called out Joe Biden for this, saying that he should apologize. And then Biden was asked about that by a reporter, and he's like, no, I'm, I'm not going to apologize. I've been you know, standing up for for civil rights, you can you can look at my record. Cory Booker is the one that should apologize. So he still doesn't even have like any type of self awareness of how, you know, it's just horrible optics and like just paints you as like being a horrible person. To talking about highlighting how you're able to work with segregationists and able to get things done with them when they are some of the most um, evil and, you know, horrible viewpoints out there and, you know, racist and xenophobic and all that stuff, but he still doesn't have the self-awareness to realize that it was a horrible thing for him to say, and he's basically doubling down on it, so it would be interesting to see how this affects him in the polls. I obviously don't see how it could benefit him you know, in the polls anyways, there's not, um, you know, a huge amount of support for those types of policies mm. out there nowadays, um, at least from what I can tell. So, again, Joe Biden saying mm. stupid, horrible things and just a long, long track record of, of doing so. This is just the more recent example. Um, would love to hear thoughts on this. Um, peace, much love.